Oracle, let's cut the cards and see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time. The most important one, the one we need to pay attention to. And we do have the Seven of Wands and the Page of Cups and High Priestess. So, um, I know, I know, it, it, might, it might be a little bit of silence uh, with the High Priestess, but you know how it feels? It feels like inaction is the best course of action when it comes to you for the month of um, March. We do have the Page of Cups. Page of Cups can mean an offer of love and I... I'm kind of you are asked to be guarded about you you let me know what this is all about we're going to look into all the energies coming your way um but it has this energy of seven of wands blocking and the high priestess trust your intuition so if um like as of lately you are talking to someone or um you know you received an offer and uh, i don't know it maybe it looks like too good to be true or that type of energy um, well, you are actually guided to kind of investigate. That's a high priestess energy, right? Investigation, observation, uh, trust your intuition, and seven of wands, right? A little bit of boundaries there. So let's see what this is all about. Can be a fire sign. King of wands wanted to show up. Can be a fire sign. Uh, can be an Aries. Um, it is the energy of Aries, but can very well be uh, Leo and Sagittarius as well. So past energies on your side, their side, and mutual energies. Let's have current energy on your side, their side, and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome. For you, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. Bottom of the deck, definitely that is a, a new love offer coming in. And I kind of feel the universe is asking you to be cautious, Virgo. I don't know if you feel like um, jumping. Um, I don't know if that is an offer and you feel like really fighting for it. And the universe is kind of saying, you know, with the high priestess, just uh, let's be cautious there. So well, let's see, you know, before we jump to conclusions here. Um, so what happened in the past, Virgo? You have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, which is your energy and the empress so this is kind of like the universe making a statement you gave everything you were the mother of their children the father of their children the provider the lover um you know completely bringing uh, the abundance home um and it has this energy of everything i have is yours every time we see the empress i know it comes to her right the whole um you know all the um, all the good and all the richness right comes to her but it it has um in this position combined with your energy um a lot of generosity till you had uh, nothing left to give right now this person of yours might have been an in and out connection we do have the six of swords in reverse and the ace of cups they rejected and maybe they came back you know it has this energy of um, coming back, uh, moving out, starting something new, and then coming back. And I kind of feel it's a new cycle here, uh, Virgo. Uh, we had a rejection in the past, and now they come back with an offer here. And the universe is saying, come on, we know the game, right? But we'll see. Mutual energies between the two of you, Page of Pentacles in reverse and the Ten of Cups, rejection and unhappiness, right? Um... And it feels like something that really never really got off, um, like uh, on the right foot and also with some speed, you know, um, because we have the Ace of Cups and the Page of Pentacles still in, um, in uh, initial phases. Page of Cups here with the Ace of Cups, right? We start to see a pattern, something. We, that was an offer. We started, started the conversation and then... Um, you know, uh, maybe Virgo, you gave, you gave everything you had and, and this person was a little bit more cautious um, in quest for something bigger, maybe Ten of Cups, right? Um, to be to be fulfilled, to, uh, uh, you know, have a blissful life. And then finally, there was something that made them discontent. What do we have right now? Um, we have the Hierophant in reverse, Taurus energy and the High Priestess. Probably we have you observing them, um, of course, uh, them, you know, falling out of a commitment of some sort. 
I feel that you start to see something. The Hierophant in reverse is when it's a difference in the level of commitment and we start to see and it kind of makes sense um, why it's happening and what you need to do actually more than, uh, you know, when we assign a, a sense of and a, a meaning to something. Uh, and we do have High Priestess. I feel we are silent and it's also the overall energy. So you are on the right path. I, I don't feel you need to do something about it right now. And um, and the higher fend in reverse, I know it's right. A little bit uh, needing help, a little bit of, um, um, you know, stability, a little bit of um, um, understanding of the differences between the two of you. Uh, right now and the Hierophant in reverse also speaks of a different um, you know background ethnicity religion so on and so forth and I kind of feel we stay quiet we stay put about and I am I, I'm getting this sense of deeper understanding an emotional but also a very practical understanding of what's going on um, and we have you seven of wands putting boundaries now this person of yours, there is no doubt they want another round, uh, Virgo. Ace of um, Ace of Cups, we had the rejection in the past, now we have the practicality of your energy, Ace of uh, Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles, which is your energy. So they definitely want to start over this connection. They are actually waiting uh, for the right moment, for the right time, for the right opportunity. For ships to come home, in their mind, they've invested in this, so it has to come to them. Uh, and that is that is no doubt that a, a new beginning is all over their mind. Uh, I mean, Ace of Cups, Page of Cups. Ace of Cups in the past, Page, page of Pentacles. So, no doubt, no doubt. I don't feel they are taking action right now. Of course, we do have the Queen of Wands in reverse, we know. It's not a lot of movement when she is in reverse. And with the three of wands, they kind of have expectations. Um, you know, either for the right moment to present itself, or they have expectation that you might, because you show up here with the Ace of Pentacles, maybe they expect in the expectation energy. It's kind of like you both wait on each other in some way to make a move. So it's kind of that energy. Who's going to make, uh, you know, uh, this time, uh, the next move? Um, I feel they've uh, made it uh, a couple of times, um, you know, to come back. So Virgo, I feel it's a, it's a fire sign. We have the Queen of Wands twice and the King of Wands might be a fire sign or maybe you have fire in your chart. But look at this, the month of March, right? I hope you'll find a moment to make um, peace with the level of conflict and frustration that this person brings to you. Um, Queen of Wands in reverse again is not a lot of movement and I kind of feel you are frustrated because things are not, um, you know, um, going at your pace and I, and I hope you'll, you'll find, uh, you'll find the way. And it makes sense twice the High Priestess, right? She's in the know. She stays still in the know. Um, and of course, knowledge, knowledge is, um, yeah, intuition or the knowledge is coming from, um, her intuition, but also through observation, right? And a clear minded, you know, she stays between the dark and the light. So she knows the dark and she knows the light and she knows how to navigate uh, between uh, worlds. So I kind of feel the universe is saying, come on, you know, the life with them, you know, the life without them. And that is something, some peace that you need to bring um, to your soul, you know, before we can move in a consistent way. And look at them. They really want a new beginning with you, Virgo. There is no doubt. March is the Ace of Wands. Somebody here is attracted to you. And the energy of Six of Wands, again, wants a fire sign, right? So they might be a little bit ashamed. This is the energy of being ashamed and not showing people that they actually long for a new beginning with you. I mean, Ace of Cups in the past, rejection, right? And right now, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and Ace of Cups. No doubt. Uh, one that is stable, that can be invested in, one that's passionate, and one that's emo emotionally bonding. Mutual energy is between the two of you. Again, Queen of Pentacles, that in reverse, that is distance between you and your person, and the Emperor in reverse. Somebody here in March is kind of releasing control. 
uh, doesn't really have a plan but has a lot of desire to renew something with you they want to renew the connection it has this energy of starting from scratch all over again like we were strangers right um and um and build something um in small steps with the ace of pentacles and a lot of attraction we know ace of wands is my attraction card is my wand card um so hey um guidance right and the universe sent you i mean the card completely flew off the deck um the gardener and you know what this means your world is precious your environment is precious you are precious you have to protect yourself the gardener is nurturing your soul and putting the whole energy in your uh, personal balance development whatever you are working on right now what else do we have we have love endures love does not give up or lose faith love is hopeful and withstands every situation and I kind of feel it sounds like a test uh, Virgo and I'm so not for tests and connections I'm all about uh, speaking up I'm all about openness and um, and generosity and kindness and understanding and I kind of feel that it's protect yourself and test them a little bit you know if they pass the test we know they love you for real because it has love endures right love does not give up so uh, let them show you that they don't give up you know we do have soulmates so confirmation that there is a strong bond with this person right body mind and soul is more than um you know just a simple connection and we do have the rainbow revival we need to bring some fun back some spicy so treasure by the bottom of the deck treasure your loved ones it is important to love others deeply so love endures and love is unconditional right we love other people deeply um beautiful beautiful but at this time you are asked to step back for a bit just for a bit just till the right time so energies we need to put back into the flow or release and we release loneliness i know that i'm never alone these are words of affirmation right we do have surrender to silence in quiet meditation or contemplation let go and enter the stillness within silence can heal and replenish you and we have the high priestess twice which is the energy of silence present you live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances so it is um higher self right it is acting from a place of divinity and self and um and self so and divine self so be in the present and we do have honesty i can't always expect the truth from others but i can expect it from myself and bottom of the deck surrender to trust and that's uh the high priestess again intuition trust um so trust yourself and your decisions virgo don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path um so i know you're frustrated i mean that is frustration all over the place but they are up for another round uh Virgo. and i feel i mean you are told they are your soulmate and love is important but it's also the gardener energy right me and my world me and my protection um and surrender to silence again I, I i feel you have and i'm so not for this but it's a strong message of leave them boil for a minute you know love endures surrender to silence just let them figure out a couple of things you know uh and trust this and trust your intuition if your gut feeling is t is telling you something i feel you are really pushed to listen to um, so Virgo, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.